Good morning. Time for our latest daily thought. And uh, yeah, we're going to be looking into Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 56. So uh, if you've got a Bible and you want to follow it, read along with me. The burial of Jesus, Luke 23 verse 50 to 56. It says this. Now there was a man named Joseph, a member of the council, a good and upright man who had not consented to their decision and action. He came from the Judean town of Arimathea and he himself was waiting for the kingdom of God. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. Then he took it down, wrapped it in a linen cloth and placed it in a tomb cut in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. It was preparation day and the Sabbath was about to begin. The women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. Then they went home and prepared spices and perfumes, but they rested on the Sabbath in obedience to the commandment. So we know that uh, yesterday we read that Jesus had had died uh, and now we see that he was buried and he was buried in a tomb. And um, this goes to show us that although, um, although the people... Um, of the day would have heard Jesus' testimony and Jesus saying that he would rise again. (coughs) They obviously didn't believe him because they buried him in a tomb and that was a permanent ending as to what uh, they were doing. No, I'm not driving. Uh, Justine's driving. Don't say hello. No. No, She doesn't want to say hello. Um, How many make your phone? Yeah, sorry for uh, the distraction. Um, But yeah, so so the fact that they didn't really uh, believe that Jesus would rise again meant that they buried him um, and they we know that the stone was rolled in front of the tomb and it was a it was a permanent way of which ended Jesus's life he was definitely dead um, and he was definitely buried but thankfully that's not where the story ends and uh, if you join us on Monday we continue as we go into the last chapter of Luke uh, for the next week and then we'll be wrapping up the whole book Um, we started this back in April I think and we've read a few verses every day for the last four or five months and we're nearly at the end of the whole book of Luke and uh, this is the crunch time he's Jesus has died he's been buried but then we're we're ready for what's next and uh, well it doesn't uh, it's not rocket science to work out what happens next because we know that Jesus rises from the dead and that's a really exciting uh, part of the story which you can hear on Monday morning uh, but I hope you're doing well uh, we're uh, in visiting family in Newcastle this weekend um, so hope you have a good bank holiday and uh, yes we shall see you next week